everybody welcome to the channel on today happy wednesday if you saw my previous video you know today i am bringing you the review for the style so me brie dress um welcome to all my new subscribers thank you so much for tuning in today and for those who have not subscribed yet consider subscribing on your way out don't forget to thumbs up this video and share if you like the content up for so. you the brie dress here and the style lines i did view a in particular so i made view a here which you will see in the uh, the line drawing um, of the brie dress. And so what I will say, let me just start out with the, the sizing. The size chart, and this is, um, it says for full bust, it goes from a size 31 extra small, extra XX small, up to a 48 full bust, which is a 3X. The natural waist from a 23 to up to a 42, and the hip from a 33 to 53. So that is the size chart. And I chose view A because I really like that sash. Let me see if I can show you. I love this sash look here. So, so pretty. And Erin had made one of her um, dresses, her brie dresses, out of that view A look. And so I absolutely loved it. Let me tell you about the fabric. Here is the dress. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. I love these colors. When that brie dress pattern came out, this is the fabric that immediately popped in my mind that I wanted to use. Um, this is a stretch cotton um, woven. So it is a woven, it is it has stretch to it. I believe I brought a piece, yeah I do, I have a piece of it here because I wanted to show you how much stretch was in it. I didn't, let me see if I can show you. See there's some oops some decent stretch to it and this was actually gifted to me by Andrea from Soda Fit so um, yeah I knew that when I saw that pattern I wanted to use this fabric so let's get let's into start the out with the sizing so my full bust is a 51 my waist is a 45 and my hips is 52 and a half so I already knew that and sorry it is warm in here um, I already knew that I was my measurements was outside the size range. However, because of the amount of stretch in this cotton, I knew I could get away with it. And this is just from I didn't do a muslin or anything. I just figured based on the amount of stretch, I would be fine. I didn't change the seam allowance or anything because it's a half inch seam allowance for the entire thing. But um, I figure with the amount of stretch, I would be safe. And you will be able to tell by the pictures that yes, it is really, really a great, great fit. So there are a total of seven pieces and um, plus your lining pieces. So there's two bodice pieces that need to be lined. Um, I almost made the mistake. So <laughs> here's a tip. I almost made the mistake. I went and bought um, lining fabric for this because I knew it needed to be lined. Um, however, right when I laid the lining fabric down, it popped in my head and I, and it was just a regular, um, woven lining. I said, I can't use that because this stretches. And if I put a non-stretch lining into fabric that stretch, this would fit so awkward and would not work. So I decided to self line. So there, I had enough fabric. I think it was about six or seven yards I had. So I had enough to self-line the entire bodice. Now, here's um, here's the deal. This side, I accidentally <laughs> cut the piece out on the wrong side. So on the inside, and obviously can't nobody see this, but um, only thing is, is if depending on how I um, tie the sash, you'll, you would notice it. But other than that, you won't notice that the inside on one side is showing the wrong side on the inside. So yeah, that, that was the um, only thing. So let's get into the review. I'm looking down at my notes. Um, so here is my biggest tip. Erin did a sew along for the Brie dress. And so hopefully you can still see me clearly because the sun is moving from the, um, the clouds in and out of the clouds. But Erin does a sew along for the Brie dress. I highly, highly 
recommend. This is one that you will want to follow the sew along um, because the, the sew along and the order of the instructions aren't quite the same. Um, and so I like the order of the way she did it um, in her sew along. Um, Cause when I was reading the instructions, I was like, ooh, I, I got a little stuck. But the thing I got, let me tell you the trickiest part of this and she doesn't have a skill level. I don't think I noticed. And this pattern just came out May of this year. I don't think I noticed the skill level on here unless I overlooked it. Um, but the bodice, putting this bodice together was so tricky. So, <laughs> so I highly recommend just follow her so long and you will do fine because that's exactly what I did because I was a little confused in just reading the instructions and trying to figure out how the pieces go because you have sashes these these sashes wrap pieces go into the sides on both sides and you have to get it right and so um yeah i was confused so i watched her so long just for those pieces um because obviously when you connect the the skirt to the top that's not necessarily a challenge um it has front it don't we have front darts on the skirt and then you have the bodice has back darts as well as the top of the skirt. I'm not sure if you can see that because of the design. It also called for a 22 inch invisible zip. Y'all know me and my invisible zips. I'm still, I'm still working on it. <laughs> I don't care how many times, how many videos I have seen that show how to do an invisible zip. For whatever reason, your girl cannot get it together. But the zip is in the back. And so is not invisible, but it blends in with the brown in the dress. Um, also, because it is fully lined, one thing I will say I will do differently, because if you watch the sew alone, when you put in the zipper, this is how you put in the zipper. So you can see it from the outside. And then um, you're supposed to cut off the top of the tabs. Um, now, having done a few um bodices that have um zippers so having done a few tops that are self-lined or lined and putting a, a zipper in i wasn't thinking and i should have put the included the zipper between the lining piece and the um, facing pieces or the main piece of the fabric instead of it being exposed like this um, because typically Anything I've made before that calls for the bodice to be lined and it had a zipper, the zipper was never exposed. It was always embedded in between the lining fabric and the main fabric. Um, so not until it was over because the bodice was so tricky. I think I'm, I was consumed by getting, <laughs> getting the sewing the bodice pieces correctly that I just didn't even think about um, the zipper until it was towards the end and I was like, oh, I should have, but you know, I've already passed all the steps that would have given me the opportunity to do that. However, I did not cut across the top because then it would have been raw on there. So let me see if I can show you. Can you tell? I folded it under the, the top of the zipper, the part, the overhang piece up underneath itself and I just, um, used a hand stitch to stitch that down because I didn't want that to be exposed at all. And so, yeah, that is it. And I also, um, you can, I will say for this sash in the front, you do have an opportunity to self-line it. I didn't have enough fabric to do that. Um, but you just, um, she says in the video, you can. You don't have to. The instructions are written where you just fold over the edges um and then so but you can self-line that um so that is also an option if you have enough fabric for that because i used a good six yards on this dress because of the sash pieces because you have the this is the front wrap you'll see it and you won't be able to see it here with me sitting down so make sure you're watching the video and i'll show you the different sash pieces those require a good bit of fabric. And so if you do want to self-line them, you have to make sure you have enough fabric or you just plan to use a contrasting color in order to um, self-line them. 
So I absolutely love it. I've already tried this on prior to taking it with me, um, but it's a very good fit. You will see that again in the pictures. Make sure you are watching. So, and I would highly recommend this pattern. However, I do highly recommend um, just following along on the her uh, style so me her uh, video here on YouTube and I will link the first video down below and then you can go through and watch the rest of the videos but it's a very pretty dress and I already have in mind what fabric I want to get to make at least want a couple more and I will you know there is made to be sleeveless which I like um, but yes I absolutely love the way it turned out and I love this fabric this fabric is absolutely gorgeous look at it I think it just really makes the dress look so beautiful um, and even the versions that um, um, Aaron did were really nice and other versions I've seen out on Instagram look really good so yes I love this pattern when it when it came out I was like oh I gotta get it <laughs> so pretty so so pretty so <clears throat> anyway that is all that I have. If you have any questions, please leave your comments below. I am looking at my notes. Um, the only, like I said, the only thing I would do different is um, hide the zipper in between the lining and the main piece. Um, and that's it. That's those are the only changes I would make. I will watch this so along again too <laughs> to make to finish it off. But yeah, that is it. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Stay tuned. I am getting ready to um, have this video up next for you, and you will see that coming up on Sunday. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. You all have a fantastic rest of your week, and we will see you on Sunday. Bye.